About half of all fires nationwide start in the kitchen, so it's important to know how to prevent kitchen fires and also what to do if one happens, especially if it's a grease fire. You never want to put water on a grease fire. The fire will get really big really fast. So one of the options is just to use a fire extinguisher. Here, this is just one example of a different, different types of fire extinguishers you can use. So what you want to do, you want to get back as far as you can, three to six feet away. Um, this is a small room, so it's about as far as I can go here. I want to aim, squeeze, and sweep. And you sweep at the base of the pan until the fire is out. But what do you do if you don't have a fire extinguisher handy? Some options that you can do. First things first is I take my lid right here and I slide it, put the lid on, on, the, on the pot. Your other option is if you have just a flat cookie tray, all I'd have to do is put the cookie tray on here and then shut off your burner and the fire should go out. Fire needs three things. It needs basically fuel, oxygen, and uh, heat. So if I put the lid on here, I take away the oxygen. If I shut off the stove, I take away the heat. There are several things people can do to prevent kitchen fires, like keeping towels and pot holders away from burners. Keep your stove clean. Don't let grease build up on it. Don't wear loose clothing while cooking. Put child safe covers on knobs. And one of the best ways to prevent kitchen fires. You never, ever, ever want to walk away while you are cooking, um, especially with grease. For more information about fire safety, visit the West Metro Fire Department's website at wmfrd.org or visit the State Fire Marshal's page at dps.mn.gov. Learn more about the connection at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.